maybe it's the back fat right against your bra, y'all know what I mean. So if that's you, I want to urge you that it's not an exercise. Don't go shopping for an exercise to lose the belly fat or an exercise to lose the bra fat and the back fat. So we can't spot reduce. And really the problem is not the need for an exercise. You're depositing fat in certain places in your body based on certain hormones that are experiencing imbalance. And I know a lot of people will say, that's not imbalance, that's just menopause. And this is true. But what is an imbalance and shouldn't be happening to us and actually didn't generations ago, but things have changed, is that we have far more cortisol. Our stress is higher and that causes our cortisol levels to go up. That's the hormone secreted under stress that changes our blood sugar levels. We become more susceptible to high blood sugar and that causes insulin resistance. Pre-diabetes is an issue that plagues a lot of women in midlife and is a lot of times the cause for depositing that fat in places where we never want it, right? Not necessarily do we, we look for it, but you're depositing fat probably very differently than you did 10 or 20 years ago when you were increasing your weight. And, and we all went through those ups and downs, but it's probably different for you now. Stick around, even if you haven't had that diagnosis of prediabetes, and consider this. A friend of mine, Dr. Beverly Yates, is hosting a summit on diabetes. And you may think, well, that's not me. I don't have that. And yet, the more you know about controlling your blood sugar levels, which is really what this is all about, the better off you're going to be and the more you're actually gonna have the problem solution benefit to the belly fat, to that spare tire or that back fat and the bra line fat, those come from a certain area. And we want to eliminate, we wanna minimize as much as we can the deposit of that visceral belly fat that becomes a real health issue and a heart disease issue for women post-menopause. So watch what Dr. Beverly has to say if this resonates with you or with somebody that you love who do, who does have a blood sugar issue, has diabetes or has been told you're pre-diabetic this may resonate with you. I'm gonna put the link down below to join us for the summit. The summit is free, but the information you get will potentially be priceless. Welcome everyone to the Diabetes Transformation Summit. I'm your host, Dr. Beverly Yates, MD. Here in the summit, we have a wonderful lineup of speakers, experts in various aspects of blood sugar control. We invite the entire community of people who either have diabetes or people who care about people who have diabetes. Here we talk about things that are specific for folks with type 1 diabetes, pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, type 1.5 diabetes, also known as LADA, latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. We talk about type 3 and some of the issues that precede dementia and Alzheimer's, etc. We have things for people who are older, people who are middle-aged, people who are younger, and people who are kids. We've got the whole spectrum included here. So welcome. You are in the right place. I hope you get a lot of benefit from this summit. Thank you for spending your time here.